Hello and welcome Pixels! Today I want to present you a short preview for Blender 2.9 with focus on material modes and the new tint brush. I got the build of latest version 2.9 Alpha from 26 April 2020 and there are some major changes between this version and Grace Pencil 2.82 which I presented you in my last video. The Alpha build can be downloaded on the official Blender website. Link is in the description below. I checked the Blender developers blog post for the Grease Pencil Refactory and there are some really cool nice features like massive performance boost, by the way the drawing shaders were rewritten completely from scratch, light effects to 2D objects, new mask system, some information about management of older Grease Pencil files and so on. Very interesting is as well the fact that they optimized the brush stroke behavior when you draw very fast. You should get much more smoother lines now. I want to highlight two new features which completely eliminates some points of my previous video for Blender 2.8.2. First color modes and second the tint brush. Let's rush into color modes now. Do you remember that I talked about colors which can be only created by materials and you need to define if they are strokes or fills? This method still works, but now you are able to select color modes and choose between material mode and vertex color mode. This new mode change everything. You can choose any color, have and prepared color palette here, create new color palettes or single colors. And don't need to create always a material again and again. Blender 2.9 is an early alpha build and there are definitely some points which will change till the finished build will be released. I think it's a great feature and now you are much more flexible with your color management. But layer management grows of importance at the same time because we don't want a messy file. In tool palette we get a new slot here, which is named tint. It is very similar to the vertex color painting system and is working with the existing brush strokes and fills. There is only one brush available so far. I don't know if there will be more brushes for the tint option in the gold status version of Blend 2.9. On activation of this button it is like a new brush with radius, strength and a selected color. Choose any color and tint your wanted strokes. If you select fill, then you will only be able to tint filled areas as a whole. But how does vertex color actually work? By using the draw mode you automatically create strokes which belongs to a crease pencil object in Outliner. But you are able to switch to edit mode. There you see that the brush stroke is built up with single vertices which can be modified. Each vertex is able to save color value information and create automatically a gradient to the next vertex with own color information. The more vertices for one stroke, the more precise the color management. But actually you are not able to create a clean cut between two colors in one stroke. More specifically, I don't know a possibility for this. That's all so far. Some very cool new features are ahead. I really enjoy the vertex color mode. This is so much better for drawing and really fasten up your drawing process. Well done Blender. Thank you very much for watching. It would be very nice to give this video a like and or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more game dev videos. Cheers.